Disney losing 1.5 billion dollars last year on Disney Plus and 2.4 million subscribers on the platform in the last few months, making movies that lost money. Turning Red made 20.1 million and costed 175 million to make. Stock that's falling for the last two years from $200 per share to $90 per share. Laying off 70,000 people and more to come. Will it fail? Is this the end? Losing that much is unsustainable, even for a Fortune 500 company. A company that has a market cap of $171.86 billion. A household name, pioneers of animation. Company that we all grew up with, with movies that have a special place in our heart. These movies that we all grew up with, Snow White, Mickey Mouse, Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Lion King, and tons of others made Disney. At that time, Disney's business plan was to create original intellectual property and quality or quantity. Last decades, that's changed. Disney's strategy now is to buy out competition. That gave Disney more streams of income, which is good. Before that, they made revenue with animated movies, original movies, theme parks, and merch. Acquiring Marvel, Lucasfilm, ESPN, 20th Century Fox. That costs billions and it needs to pay off. Marvel was a huge success. It looked like a printing money machine. It all went like clockwork until phase four. Then it was quantity or quality, bad CGI, and losing money. Eternals costed 200 million and made 402.1 million. Black Widow costed 200 million and made 3800 million. Shang-Chi made 432.2 million and costed between 150 to 200 million. We can see that they made more than they costed, but this isn't with calculated promotion and distribution. Promotion in most cases costs more than a half of a movie production, and there are also distribution costs. So we can't say for sure if they did break even. For Black Widow case, the problem was that they released the movie at the same time in cinemas and on their streaming service. Why would you go to cinema if you can watch the movie at home? The only movies that I'm sure made success is Thor Love and Thunder made 76.9 million, costed 250 million and had bad CGI. Wakanda Forever made 858.8 million and costed 250 million. And No Way Home made over 1.9 billion and costed 200 million which was not made by Marvel, so they only get a fraction of the profits. Don't worry, Marvel has still an amazing fan base. Just look at this, amazing memes. Speaking of fan bases, Star Wars has one of the most loyal fans on the globe. And they aren't happy with the movies. When I did research, all I found was hate comments towards Disney. The sequel trilogy was failing in revenue. Look at this graph. Fans are disappointed. Solo became the first Star Wars film in history that lost money. The rumors are that Disney is considering selling Star Wars, but just to other streaming services. So don't worry fans, Star Wars is still in good hands. Maybe Indiana Jones will be the next hit. Animated movies aren't better either. Turning Red, the movie mentioned at the beginning, made 20.1 million and costed 175 million. Strange World cost around 130 to 180 million and made 73.6 million. Lightyear cost 200 million, made 226.4 million. And we didn't calculate promotion and distribution. <sighs> and the live action remakes of Aladdin and Lion King broke my heart. Team parts got a huge hit because of pandemic. Merch revenue is also dropping for everybody, not just Disney. Because of raising prices of raw material like plastic, Disney licenses the characters to other companies. But still, theme parks and merch rely on Disney's relevance and how much people are interested in it. Now the biggest loser, Disney Plus. That thing started like a sports car. Look at this. Millions of subscribers, TV shows like Mandalorian, Loki. Textbook example of a start. So how did the streaming service lose company billions of dollars? Marvel and Star Wars are movie franchise. So the shows need to be in a movie low production to please the crowd. And that costs a lot. I bet if they put Saul Goodman in She-Hulk, profits would skyrocket. That sucks. Now the main revenue streaming service. 
subscribers. Disney Plus was launched during the pandemic. People had nothing better to do besides video games, watching movies, drinking and sleeping. In India, they lost a lot of subscribers because they lost the rights to stream Indian Cricket League. Yeah, I also thought that was a joke, but obviously it's not. Cricket is pretty huge in India and Asia. In the rest of the world, they lost subscribers because of another thing. The episodes like Mandalorian are short and many people cancel their subscriptions until next season. But all streaming platforms have this problem. People do it like this. Subscribe, watch what they want, cancel, subscribe to a different streaming service, watch what they want, cancel and so on. It's cheaper like this because prices of services are going up. That loses streaming companies a huge amounts of money but they raise the price. You can subscribe to my channel, it's free. One of the ways they plan to fix this is to add advertisement on the streaming platform that you paid to watch without ads. But as we saw, the whole company needs to reorganize. They knew that. CEO Bob Iger announced that the media and entertainment giant would reorganize, cut thousands of jobs, which represented an estimated 3.6% of Disney's global workforce, and cut 5.5 billion in costs. The company now will be made of three divisions. First is Disney Entertainment, which includes streaming and media. Second, a ESPN division that includes the TV network and ESPN Plus. And third, a parks, experience and product division. They hope they will rebuild. Iger's 15 year job as CEO was spectacular by every measure. Revenue grew by 200% and net income by 400%. But he also kind of put Disney in this position. Actually, Disney is a perfect example of once you reach the top, there is only going down. I knew that tons of people want Disney to fail because it's a evil corporation. But that's not good. Thousands of people will lose their job. Disney can still fix itself. It still can make amazing movies again. This isn't actually the first time Disney's facing failure. They had many fails through history. Starting with Walt Disney, he had many ups and downs and startings from scratch. He was screwed over a lot of times by business partners and studios, but he always managed to find a way back. Other CEOs after him had similar problems but they all managed to find a way back on the track. Now that job is on Bob Iger, he needs to find a way to get back on the track. I mean, his decisions made the company that it is today, but you know what they say, there is a solution for everything. And the most important thing, what's your favorite Disney movie? I don't know which one is mine because there are so many to choose from. With all those new decisions, I hope that in the future movies there will be Disney's magic in it just like the old days, and that they will make movies that will be remembered for decades to come. Maybe they won't have the same feeling that the old ones did because of nostalgia, but I would like that the new generation feels the Disney magic just like we all did. And I hope that the next Disney movie will be my favorite Disney movie of all time. See ya, bye!